Hello friends, good morning. This is Shamal here. Hope everybody is fine. Every living organism, animals or whoever it might be, after your birth or born, you started to eat the natural resources. So people might be thinking that how much one can eat. So it's a never ending story. There are certain amazing story probably you can say that let us talk about human being, a normal life of 60 to 70, 75 years, if I considered a normal human can eat up to 35 to 40 tons of foods. 35 to 40 tons of foods. Can you imagine? This is almost close to 35,000 to 40,000 kg of food that is somebody is eating. Imagine a situation you have close to 780 crores people. How much organic material is being consumed and what is the cycle probably one can can understand little bit. It is very, very hard to calculate this ecological food chain, how this recycling is going on in the food chain. Now the question is one individual human being is eating close to 35,000 kg of food to 40,000 on an average life. This is, what about the water? 2.5 liter to 3 liters of water. You have 365 days, close to 1000 liter of water. Like if somebody is living close to 80 years, will be consuming 80,000 liters of water. So everybody is talking about whether, whether water is going. Now imagine a situation, you have again 780 crores of people, every day drinking close to 2.5 liter to 3 liters of water. Drinking water, how much water you need? So 80,000 liter, how many tanker you require? You imagine a situation at given point in time, if somebody is thinking that you are going to live for 80 years, so at your doorstep, how many trucks will be loaded with food? 40,000 kg of food material, if somebody is storing at your doorstep, hoping that you are going to live for 80 years, so you want to store that food in advance. Have little cryopreservation. Imagine, so how many freezer you require? Similar way, what would be size of your water tank? So you need close to 80,000 liter of a water tank that to be built at your house. If somebody is thinking that you are going to leave it for 80 years. And if somebody is thinking you are going to live for 80 years, so close to 35,000 to 40,000 of kg of food to be stored. And to store that you need a big kind of warehouse or a kind of storage center where again storing facilities are required provided rats are not entering there. That is one dangerous thing probably. So friends, my purpose is not talking about how much you are eating. So our great poet has told that 
Rabindranath Tagore, 1913 Nobel Prize winner, that is talking about Morite Chahina Ami Shundare Bhubane Manovereo Majhe Ami Bachi Bare Chai. So he is talking about. We do not like to die in this beautiful world. We would like to live in the world of men. Well, I am here talking. We do not like to die in the beautiful world. We would like to live in the world of men. So, he has written something. I do not like to die in the beautiful world. I would like to live in the world of men. Uh, probably Robindran might not be knowing this kind of thing that one person is eating so much and so much water. Sometimes a lot of family members like you no, know, when you don't work at all or you don't do anything, you are jobless. Sometimes it has been hard that ar koto onno dhongso korbe re baba. आर कोतो अन्नो धंशो कुर्बी रे बाबा माने टा क्यों लो The meaning is that how much how much food you are going to waste See thing what I am trying to tell over here If you don't work people talk about that somebody is is destroying the food Right for them, if you do not work or if you are jobless, you are destroying the work, destroying the food. So, <laughs> in order to avoid such kind of comments from the society, one really need to work. One really need to think that if you are going to live for 70, 80 or 90 years, so how to earn this close to 40,000 kg of food or how to buy or how to grow that probably one need to know whichever mode it is to become an independent person one must be aware about the water part as I have told you again close to 40,000 liters of water so that much water, either you buy it or take it from natural resources or municipal corporation is supplying, you need to pay the respective charge for that. I am not talking about the other part of your life like your dress material, housing, your education, your transport fees, your living thing. That each life is becoming a kind of a huge amount of expenses that is involved in each life so if you calculate your span of life again i am talking about 70 to 80 years one should fix a kind of a calendar or a fix a kind of periodic table of each item you are going to consume for 70 80 years so that much earning capabilities one must have in their mind rather if somebody doesn't like to get abused from the society or from the family members and that will every day it is going to pinch you look i am going to live it for 70 80 years so that i need to earn i need to make myself design such a way that how to earn which way i to wanted to earn so watch what kind of educational qualification is required what kind of social responsibilities are required what kind of skills are required what kind of knowledge and wisdom is required to achieve that kind of goal friends this is a very very interesting thing probably will give human being the highest order of the ecological system we are sitting, we must retrospect that every day, rather than keeping photographs of anybody, that chart can be kept in front of your wall 
and it is going to remind you that what is the total amount of wealth or natural resources you are going to consume throughout your life so friends this is this is quite amazing story probably not amazing story it is a very kind of a statistically analyzed analysis that has been done by various scientists okay probably you also can do it take a simple calculator you can calculate it absolutely you don't need a great science to understand it but this data is important for anybody it's a reminder for anybody and people talk about i do not like to die in the beautiful world for 100 years like no for i do not like to die in the beautiful world i would like to live in the world of men only human being thinks in that direction animals they never feel that they would like to live in the world of men or world of animal when an elephant dies probably they die they never say they are next generation you remember me we we really do not know only human they have the desire or aspiration after death probably they say you remember me so rabindranath has told there are many people they have told that after my death i have done a great work for the society please remember me for thousands of years the many people they have great people they have written which means that they feel after death they also should be remembered by their work so friends everybody has lived in their own way i told many times there are short lived people there are long lived people in this mother earth if you see in india the great people people who have died at the age of 20 like shukanta bhattacharya swami vivekananda at the age of 39 the great mathematician ramanujan at the age of 32 sometime i wonder like you no know, if they could have lived for 80 or 90 or 100 years people talk about many things they could have done miracles kind of thing i personally feel that life each life is a kind of a defined thing it's a energy again so it gives a spark so your maximum output they have given sukanta bhattacharya if he could have lived for another 70 80 or 100 years he could have written some kind of thing but whatever he has written at the age of 20 it is equivalent to i feel it is close to 80 the way tagore he has lived for 70 75 years whatever he has to contribute he has contributed but if you take tagore's early years of writing till 2025 i'm talking about shukanta bhattacharya's finishing his literary career at the age of 20 this fellow is dying at the age of 20 Rabindranath Tagore even at the age of 20 the kind of literature he has written it is a kind of a substandard kind of thing he has written is not that the quality writing his maturity grows at his middle age or later stage of your life when his wisdom and knowledge little prospers so my question is there how come shukanto can have his knowledge and wisdom at the age of 20 at the age of 20 people might not be knowing about their life for many things it is a very kind of a the transition phase from your childhood to adultery the question is that time he is dying and tagore is, is just his his writing is just he was trying to understand the world and this fellow is finishing his life similar way i talked about ramanujan and swami vivekananda they have died at very very early age but the kind of things they have given till date we are recalling and remembering them the kind of work they have done i believe personally 
if Swami Vivekananda could have lived for another 70, 80 years, his life, like, no, he died at the age of 39, maybe he could have lived for another 40, 41 years. So, I think he could not have achieved the, the, the thing what he has to achieve, he has achieved at the age of 39. That is what I want to convey. So living in this mother earth for 100, 100 years is kind of a meaningless thing. In my opinion, the people who are contributing for the society, probably for them, they have done their job, but somebody is living for 80 or 100 years without contributing is equivalent to destroying food or not probably this is a question one need to ask and one need to introspect that kind of thing i am nobody to talk about the whole lot of thing because every living organism has a right to they have right to burn and they have right to live and they have right to die now the question is in this process the how much organic or inorganic things that is going into your digestive system that is what one need to see from their side right so human beings are very very kind of do their introspection in that introspection all those things are coming out Friends, I was uh, reviewing a fascinating book by Mitchell Simons. Interprets the world in his own way, in his writing. So he's talking about many things, many issues. So <laughs> those issues are very, very interesting and fascinating issues. There are hundreds of thought processes that is taken into consideration so those things are very interesting so like that the number of days a person can go without sleep before dying a person will die from total lack of sleep sooner than from starvation there are 10 distinct types of laughter so, we usually see somebody is laughing or somebody is smiling. So, there are 10 types of laughter. So, you make laughter challenge or laughter so. There are many types of things you will find that you is amused, joyous, sympathetic, polite relieved embraced disappointment stressed commenting and ironic kind of laughter you will see in various people and different time and in their different mode of their life on an average 7.5 on an average murders are 7.5 years younger than their victims. The number of times around the world a person will walk in average lifetime. The weight in kilogram of lipstick the average woman uses during her lifetime. So how much lipstick somebody is consuming on her lips. So this is very interesting thing. If somebody wants to read, they can refer this book. The number of teeth lost on average every 10 years, a person who smoked 20 cigarettes a day. The percentage of British worker who say they have never take a lunch break the percentage of british women who cut off the size levels from their clothes the
the percentage of British people who are never visited McDonald's, the percentage of British adult who admit to wearing the same item of underwear three days in a row, the average British adult moves home every seven years. The number of women awarded by George Cross Medal for acts of bravery during the Second World War, the number of unhealthy snacks that every British person eats each day. So, many things probably one can learn from this book. There is so much information uh, one can get from this book and enrich knowledge. So this knowledge is very important. Now, there are other few things. The number of liters of tears an individual sheds in his lifetime. So if you want to calculate how much tears you are shedding, either sitting inside toilet or sitting inside your drawing room or sitting on roadside that you can calculate that how much tears you are shedding. The number of hairs and never is like number of hairs in an average eyebrows. So like that you have 9,000 of 10,000 taste bud in the average human mouth. 9,000 are on the tongue. The other thousand are on the palate or in the cheeks. So close to 86 lakhs, the number of bits of information per day that the human brain is capable of recording. So how many computers you need? So how much storage capabilities you have, you can see it. So there are many things probably one can read from this book and end is the knowledge so this book is very very nice book one can refer uh, friends so it is very very important that if you live longer time that is probably your wisdom to live for longer time. But what is more important, do some positive or creative things. The time you are living in this mother earth, or either you live for 10 years, 20 years or 100 years or 120 years, people are talking about how much what is the total span of life of a human being survived in this mother earth that is also been recorded. Present day people are talking about how long a person can live. Now in 21st century may see a kind of a record breaker. The number of people who live past the age of 100 has been the rise of decades up to nearly half a million people worldwide. There are, however, far fewer like you no know, super centurions, people who live to age 110 or even longer. The oldest living person, Jenny Calment of France, was 122 when she died in 1997. Currently, the world's oldest person is 118 years old, Kane. Tanaka of Japan, such extreme longevity according to new research by University of Washington likely 
will continue to rise slowly by end of this century and estimates so that the lifespan of 125 years or even 130 years is possible. So if you wish to live a very long time in this mother art, then one can do little exercise to enhance the life. People are fascinated by the extremes of humanity whatever it's going to the moon how far someone can run in olympics or even long someone can leave said lead author michael priss the doctoral students in statistics with his work we qualify how quickly we believe it is that some individual will reach various extreme ages in the century. So longevity has ramification for government and economic policies as well as individual own health care and lifestyle decisions rendering what is probable or even possible relevant at all all levels of society the new study published in june 30th is a, is a kind of demographic research uses statistical modeling to examine the extremes of human life with ongoing research into aging the prospect of future medical and scientific discoveries the relatively small number of people to have reached is up to 110 or older experts have debated the possible limits to what is referred to as the maximum reported age at death while some scientists argue that disease and basic cell deterioration lead to a natural limit on human lifespan others maintain there is no cap as evidenced by record-breaking super centurions so there are again sociological work of statistics at the uw of uh, the priest and eridian has done extensive research they asked what is the longest individual human lifespan could be anywhere in the world by the year 2100 using Bayesian statistics a common tool in modern statistics the researcher estimated that the world record of 122 years almost certainly will be broken with a strong likelihood of at least one person living anywhere between 125 to 132 years so the methodology that has been used that to calculate the probability of living past 110 and to what is the most recent iteration of the international database of longevity created by the Max Planck Institute for Demographic Research the database track the 10 European countries 
plus Canada, Japan and United States using the same approach, Vesian approach to estimate the probability the UW team created projections for the maximum reported age at death all 13 countries from 2020 through 2100. According to their findings, researcher estimated near 100% probability that the current record of maximum reported age of death is 122 years. 164 days will be broken the probability remains strong of a person <coughs> living longer to 120 years old that is 99 percent probability and even uh, to 127 years old 60 percent probability at even longer lifespan is possible but much less likely with a 13% probability of someone living to age 130. It is extremely unlikely that someone would live to 135 years in this century. As it is the super centurions, right, are the outliers and the likelihood of breaking the current age record increases only if the number of super centurions grows significantly grows significantly with a continually expanding global population that's not impossible researchers say the people who have achieved extreme longevity are still rare enough that they represent a select population, right? And even with a population growth and advances in healthcare, there is a flattering uh, of the mortality rate after a certain age. In other words, someone who lives to be 110 has about the same probability of living another years as, say, someone who lives to 114, which is around one half. Finally, it doesn't matter how old they are once they reach 110 they still die at same rate they have gotten past all the various things life throws at you such as disease they die for reasons that are somewhat independent of what affects younger people this is very very select group of very robust people. The study was funded by National Institute for Child Health and Human Development. So if you want to know more about go to the actual research paper you will find there are a lot of things are there. Read the book. So if you want to live 130 years you can try that. There are various ways to do that. And our biotechnology is also trying hard to enhance your life. Once again, thank you very much, friends, if you want to live very long time in this mother earth. So how much, if you are living for 130 years, now you calculate that how much food you are going to consume, how much water, how much electricity, how much internet, how much work you want to make, so how much oxygen you are going to consume, so how much torture also you are going to give to the next generation, that if you are living for 130 years, the other will be very jealous, hey, you are living for 130 years, so 
that is another a question the kind of a sociological problem that is what exactly will be facing that is the research is talking about friends live for a long time no problem you have every right every wisdom you have but every day you think that what is that you are going to contribute for your motherland or this mother are that is more important rather than wasting time think today think positively once again thank you very much for hearing me out bye bye take care